Good morning, my good people. Good morning. Welcome back to another exciting episode of SMD Fishing. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Thank you guys for joining joining back in with me today. Uh, out here on the res, got a couple hours of fish. I'm gonna try to work on some techniques I don't normally do because uh, <laughs> I'm usually a power fish. I'm usually, you know, cranking. I might do a little bit of that today, maybe. But, you know, cranking, fast paced things. Uh, so today I'm gonna try to work on dragging uh, a couple different baits that you don't normally see me tied on. Uh, but just get, try to get better at you know different techniques so I could be more versatile come you know any day that I step out on the, on the water. I'll step out on the water, get out on the water, ride a boat on the water. You guys get me. <laughs> so you guys stay tuned. Hope you learn something. Hope you pick up maybe a few tips. Let's get after it. Okay, so I'm seeing a lot of surface activity. So we're gonna start off with this little popper here. Found some wood. circle this little flat here deep water is like right behind me so it's a good place it's like submerged wood back here so I'm trying to choose a good place where they can hide under come up and attack one little baby fish not a keeper but it is a baby fish Chop. I'll let you go. Don't worry. Yeah. Well, he said try to. I gotta see if I can catch a little bigger one like that. It's a little subtle day. Very calm water, not much wind. So it's not going to be like a, you know, super burner day. You know what I mean? You can just crank and roll. So, put on a Kai Tech. Take it slow. Drop shot. Little finesse presentations. I was just crawling it, crawling it across the bottom. And sometimes you can feel, you know, feel that, that blade kind of hit the bottom a little bit. So I graphed over this little stretch here, and there's a bunch of fish, bunch of fish. What they want to eat, different story. If I can get two hitters like that, she's a pattern. So I'm going to drag this sucker, let it, let it fall all the way to the bottom. Wow. I done caught me as a fish. I done caught me a fish. God dang. It was on the drop too. Oh man. Heck yeah, baby. Look at that sucker. If I can give me a couple more. Man, I ain't got no type of... She'll, she'll, she's squirrable. She's squirrable. For sure. Hope I don't get struck by the people. Man, good gracious, has it been freaking task to try to get a fish? I just lifted up. I said, man, ain't nothing out here getting me stuck. Good old robo worm. Are you about to fish this? Okay, I just want to make sure.
low. Things are low. Fish. If I'm not mistaken, that's a fish. Yes, yeah, a fish. So if I'm not mistaken, that's a fish. Oh, look at that. Spit up some goddamn on shad on my boat. <laughs> Man, half digested shad. You some of a biscuit. Oh, man. Must be hungry. Look, that is a fat little chunker, man. Here, we're gonna give you your, your lunch back. All right. And then you uh, be gone. <laughs> Put up a god dang on shad on my boat. <laughs> Just trying to do a little tactic here. And I done caught one. Trying to keep him down. He already jumped twice. Ooh, he got some energy still too. Oh, it's a good one. It's a good one. It's a good one for sure. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I was letting that thing drop, man. That's a good one for sure. Oh yeah. Pretty. That wasn't pretty at all. And it was just let, I was letting it just drop. Fall to the bottom. And sure enough, there was a fish on it. <laughs> I've been graphing, graphing a lot. Just trying to find them first. I think once you find them, then you try to figure out what they want for the day. But first of all, you got to get around some fish, period, right? And as I was coming into this, like, I was coming across this point here, I was going to that cove, I marked a bunch. Weren't huge ones, but I had a good size, but. I seen a ball, I seen a bunch of marks. I said, hey man, so maybe somebody's hungry. Passed over here. There it goes. I kind of seen them out here in the middle of this cut. So the key was here was I seen bait, I seen fish around bait. Um, so basically, like I said, I was just trying my trying my best to look like a a dying dying shad floating down. That's the way I thought it. That's, that's how I felt I caught that fish there. Just a dying shed. Uh, from, you know, you had a ball of baits in the top, bunch of fish eating the bait up top, hitting them, doing, you know, doing, trying to do damage. And if they hit them and that bait dies, it'll just sit there either close to the top because it's near the top or it's just going to sink down. A lot of times those bigger fish are just sitting at the bottom waiting for that easy meal to come down and, you know, they just scoop it up.
Got another one. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> it's on that fall. That's all it's on. It's on that fall. He just letting it just flutter down by itself. There you go, baby. Look at that. Look at that. See, that's why you got her get to the boat. Well, you ain't gonna cut it. I just gotta find out where they're moving to. Well, that, guys, that concludes my day. Um, I, I ran out of time before I, you know, finally figure out, uh, you know, places that they might like to go. I did spend like two hours graphing, so that did take up a lot of time. But regardless, caught some fish. Um, again, something, a bait that I don't usually use was a bleed bait. I actually had a, a hair jig on. I don't know if you guys can see, see that up there. I don't know. I had a hair jig on. I don't usually throw that. Uh, Kai Tech with, Kai Tech with a blade on it. Um, well, underspin, <laughs> but like a half ounce one, throwing it, you know, deep, trying to see if I can catch anything there. Um, I was trying a bunch of, you know, different stuff that I, I, I don't usually do. So the goal was to get out here and try to, you know, use different baits, use new things, get better at different techniques. Uh, again, you guys see I pulled two on a blade, and, and, and none of the rest of my videos I've, you know, pulled on a blade, but it makes sense as far as how to, you know, what it, what the action of the bait does. It looks like a dying fish. Um, but it's something I want to, like I said, add to my arsenal. Uh, it's something I want to get better at. So you come out, you get practicing, you eventually become good at it. But otherwise, guys, thank you guys for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. I appreciate you guys watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. I got a bunch of great content coming out, and I'll see you guys next time out here in SB Fishing. <laughs> Take care.